Hello from Gardening at Duenza here in Ireland and today we're on a road trip to Blessington in County Wicklow to see the fabulous award-winning garden of June Blake. This is one of Ireland's finest and we're all in for a beautiful May treat. So here we are approaching June Blake's garden and look at her tulips. This larch has been cleverly pruned by June to form a frame, a frame to the garden. June, do you want to start off by telling us a little bit about yourself and your motivation for the garden? Okay, well I suppose I started gardening here about 12 years ago. Um, this was just a field, a sloping field, so we've um, designed the garden around the house, which is um, Stuart's house, and um, all of the beds are raised using just local stone, and um, it's actually very suitable for the tulips because they, they don't get too wet. Um, the design of the garden is fairly formal, but the planting is informing. Later on, these beds will be full of alliums following the tulips, and then the herbaceous plants will be to their own. And the garden will be looking its best, I suppose, in uh, early July, August, September. When right. The, um, the perennials look their best, I think. And what an amazing display of tulips. Can you tell us a little bit about which ones you've chosen and why? Well, I like the colours red, black, purple, and no pinks, and I would not like, I, I particularly don't want yellow. Bastong and Rococo. Um, the tulips in this border? Yeah, Rococo is another good one. It's So there are no daffodils in this display. Why is that, June? I don't like the mix of daffodils and tulips. I particularly don't like yellow daffodils with uh, red. And I, I, I keep all my daffodils down in the woodland or up in the field. But uh, I, I, I just have a thing and I just don't like yellow daffodils. <laughs> Everybody has their likes and dislikes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> And one of your best plants at the moment? I think Ferula, Ferula communis. The foliage is really, really good and hardy, undamaged by any frost, late frost, and it's so delicate and green and fresh, and it has a lovely yellow umbel, which will flower now in a couple, about a week's time. It could go to 10 feet, but well. it's reliably perennial, and then you have a lovely seed head for the rest of the year, right through the winter. So it's a really good value plant. Just take a few leaves off and you expose. see the flowers you see, much look, better, look at that don't one. you? Just a few. Sorry, bumbles. And up here we have a, a different view again. See this pool here? This is the pond. This is a reflective pool. And see how that tree is perfectly reflected in the pond. June's garden has been cleverly designed for maximum impact and these raised walls here are wonderful for the perennials that will come later in the year. Now looking around here at these tulips it doesn't seem possible that you could squeeze perennials in here but imagine in summer there will be tall tall per perennials billowing out over the walkways and that effect is accentuated by these raised walls. We'll have to come back again and see it. June Blake's Garden in May. I hope you enjoyed the trip 
and I hope if you're ever in the neighbourhood you'll drop in and have a look at her fantastic garden. That's all for now. Bye!